Now I'm working on the lower stretchers and um, it's a little bit tricky because the uh, legs are tapered so uh, they're getting wider as it goes down. So this is the stretcher here and uh, I've marked the uh, top like so and um, there's a line here and the, the way that the line got on there of course was I scribed it on the uh, inside of the two lines we're putting a three-quarter inch tenon lengthwise three-quarters inch long by three-eighths of an inch uh, thick so uh, I use my marking gauge to uh, scribe some lines in there and then filled them in with the uh, pencil so that I could see them so then I'm going to saw down this way and uh, as you can see on that mark there it gets longer so we've got to stop and um, make sure that we um, maintain that uh, shoulder there and then of course uh, later I'll chop I won't, will not be using the power hand or power mortise or I'll be uh, cutting these mortises by hand looks like a uh, pretty good fit so now all I do is have to put the mortise in well I'm making the mortises uh, for the stretchers here and uh, I've got a 3 eighths of an inch drill bit that I drilled two holes here and uh, now I'm just paring out the waist It's in there. One down and one to go. Well, this is about uh, where we are. I've got to cut the two mortises for the uh, lower. Uh, center stretcher yet and then the uh, frame uh, construction uh, will be just about done well there it is with the uh, stretchers installed you can see uh, we've got the two coming across here and then the, the one in the center so the next thing to do is to uh, cut out the drawer front and then I, I'm going to add a bead along the bottom edge there all the way around so that's the next step well I drilled a uh, 3 32nd of an inch hole here in the uh, center of the front apron I'm going to try and uh, keep this piece for the drawer front and I have one of my smaller scroll saw blades and uh, in here so it fits through the 3 32nd of an inch hole so I'll lose a little bit and I'm going to try and keep the line as straight as possible uh, the drawer itself is going to have cock beading on it so that's not uh, as important because I can uh, take some material off and get it square again so uh, the more important part will be to try and keep it square along the edges because that's harder to clean up on the inside of the opening so uh, all that needs to be done is to uh, thread the thing through the hole the pilot hole and then uh, bring the saw blade down and saw away well there's the cutout and it's uh, fairly good I mean the the opening uh, I'm going to put uh, cock beading on the drawer front anyway uh, 
and the opening is pretty square. Uh, the corners, of course, have to be uh, paired off, but uh, a little planing, and I think uh, it'll be just fine. Well, this is how it uh, currently looks assembled. So that's not too bad. Uh, in fact, I like it pretty well. But uh, now I've got to uh, put in uh, mortises and uh, so forth for the drawer runners for the one central drawer. So that's the next step. Well, I built a uh, small frame here for the drawer runners. So the uh, runners themselves are mortised into this uh, piece of wood that I've got in front and back, or rail, I guess. And uh, so then I've got to put in uh, vertical uh, pieces here so that uh, it can guide the uh, drawer across that. And then we're going to have to have probably a kicker across the top here to keep the drawer from tilting uh, upward. So uh, that's what the next steps are. Well, I'm pretty much done with the base. Here you can see I've got the uh, drawer runners in and then the, the guides along the, the side. The kicker is in and uh, so, uh, I, you know, I need a strip across here because uh, the uh, desk, which sits on the frame, uh, will be in just sitting on this edge here. So I'd like, I'll have a matching uh, go across here, but I won't add that till after I'm done with the glue up. So I think we're pretty much done with the uh, frame at this point, so there's nothing uh, else to do but uh, sand it and then glue up the uh, pieces that we have here. So that's the next step. Well, I sanded everything to a 180 uh, grit and uh, then I used uh, my hide glue to uh, put everything together and as you can see I got quite a few clamps on there and uh, we're uh, waiting for it to dry so tomorrow what I'll probably do is uh, start on milling the stock for the desk uh, 